Thanks everyone for coming uh, today. Like uh, Deborah said, I'm Investigator Cal Gatchis with the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office. Spell my name K-A-L-G-A-T-C-H-I-S. On January 18th, 2019, at approximately 7, 11 a.m., the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office Dispatch Center received a phone call stating that there was an unresponsive male laying on the sidewalk. Uh, by building one, of the Centennial East Apartments located at 14400 East Fremont Avenue. Arapahoe County deputies responded to the area and located a, ma a male, later identified as Mark Davis, age 48, who was deceased. Mark appeared to have been shot multiple times. At this time, the homicide of Mark appears to be an ambush, and it is unknown who is responsible for his death. The Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office is, is near exhausting the few leads that we had and have no suspects at this time. The Sheriff's Office has increased police presence in the area since the incident and haven't, again, come up with any suspects. Mark Davis was a 48-year-old 48, 48 father of six and is survived by his wife, children, and his parents. During the investigation, we learned that Mr. Davis was disabled and walked with a cane. He had severe arthritis um, in his back and neck and other medical issues. He had no known enemies and by all accounts appeared to be a quiet man um, that basically kept to himself. On behalf of Mark Davis's family and the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office, we are asking the public for assistance in solving the senseless homicide. A Crime Stoppers tip line has been set up and the Arapahoe County tip line has been set up for any information that could provide leads to the person who may have done this. A, war, a, excuse me, a reward of up to $2,000 could be awarded to anybody who provides information that leads to the arrest and conviction of the person responsible for Mark Davis's murder. That's the end of my statement. If you have questions. When you say ambush, um, is, that, is that one or more than one person that might be involved? At this time, we have uh, no reason to believe that more than one person was involved. Did Mark live at the Centennial East Department? He did. And if you can tell us, or to the extent you can tell us, what makes you believe that this was an ambush? Um, I can't, again, reveal too much. Um, the information that we have from the scene itself um, leads us to believe that there was no robbery. Um, and that's pretty much I can, all I can say at this point. Yes, sir. Again, we don't know. We have uh, canvassed the buildings, uh, a large majority of the buildings, and we're still working on that, uh, interviewing, going apartment to apartment, interviewing every uh, person that lives there, uh, trying to get information. Um, at this time, we've exhausted all uh, tips and leads, so it is unclear. Yes, sir? From your interviews, family or acquaintances or witnesses, what have you been able to determine about where he was going at the time he, he was unemployed, uh, he, uh, he was on disability, and it appears that he was going to the bus stop um, to go to uh, an unknown appointment that morning. The timing is, is, is 7 11 in the morning. That's uh, a lot of people are out around that time. Exactly. That's, That's what I'm hoping. I hope, I'm hoping someone that was driving by or getting ready for work and looking out the window saw something. Um, someone suspicious, something that's st stood out um, that can give us a lead. Were deputies there earlier for a shots fired call around 5 a.m.? Yes, ma'am. And did they find, no. did they look at that same sidewalk then? Yeah, they looked, uh, they scoured the area. We had four deputies and a sergeant respond at that time. It was uh, 543, as a matter of fact. And uh, they did, they looked through the area. Um, very dark area at that time of morning, and no, no one was seen. Did you believe he was shot and ambushed right there at that? 
I couldn't answer that at this time. I don't know for a fact. You're asking people to kind of look back a um, couple of weeks. Yes. Is there a reason why it's just taken until today to plead for the public's health? We've been, we've been following up on leads that we've had uh, from information we've received from um, tips and also from canvassing the complex and the surrounding area. Uh, and we have exhausted all those leads. Uh, we were hoping that um, with those leads, we would be able to find, some res find someone responsible for this. However, that has not worked out. Do you think he was targeted, or was this random? What are you guys thinking? At this point, we're, we're unsure. We're did unsure. He, did he live with family at the apartments, or was he? Yes, sir. Did he, lived with he lived with family. Yes, sir. I suppose we can look it up if you give us a little more information, but does he have a criminal history himself? Uh, not a significant one. How about a minor one? Uh, yes. How about four? I, I couldn't release that information. Did he still have his wallet on him at the time, or was that taken? I, yes, I believe he did at that time. Could you touch just on, I mean, a 48-year-old man, uh, father of six, walking with a cane, gets ambushed, not robbed, and murdered on the sidewalk in the morning? I mean, can you just tell us a little bit more? I mean, just how, how the department is even just reacting to this? Uh, it's, it's shocking. It's very shocking. Um, we have literally put all our resources into solving this homicide. Um, it's senseless. The man, Mark Davis, did not appear to have any en enemies. Um, nothing that stands out that would lead us to believe that someone had it out for him. And it's alarming uh, in, in my eyes. And again, we have worked since January 18th, pretty much nonstop, trying to figure this out. Can you let us into the minds uh, of the family? I know that you've obviously talked to them. Yes. What they're thinking, what they're saying to you, what they're going through. Um, uh, we're of like mind in the sense that um, they don't know who would want to do this because he was a quiet man. He wouldn't bother anyone. He didn't have, he wasn't a social guy. Um, he didn't have enemies. He didn't bother people, he would just get on the bus and do his business and come home. Um, and that's, that's what's bothering all of us. We're trying to figure out why the senseless crime occurred. It's a pretty uh, open kind of industrial area out there, a lot of open grass and that kind of stuff. Um, how large an area has been searched like for any evidence and weapons? We have canvassed um, a large area um, without a map, I wouldn't be able to, to show you. Um, but definitely throughout the entire apartment complex and then to the north through that, the fields um, and surrounding businesses. Taking no Sir? security camera video related to this incident. And also, uh, you said he was the father of six. Do you know the range and ages of the six and the one in the picture? Mm -hmm. uh, is that one of his children? No, no, the baby is not a, one of his. The, his children range in age from, I, uh, I believe it's 28 down to 17, I believe, 16 or 17. So older, yeah. Older children, yes. And that could be a grandchild? Um, possibly. I don't know that for a fact. Because uh, multiple gunshots, you use the word ambush. I mean, from everything that you guys are basing it on, Someone was trying to kill him. It appears, it appears that way, based on the number of shots fired. Were his older children involved in any criminal type of activity? No, no. Not that, no, not at this time, no. All right, is that it? Is that it? Uh, what aren't we asking? I'm sorry? What aren't we asking that you can tell us? <sighs> What else would you like to add? Um, just that, again, uh, basically the same thing that I've said. It's a senseless murder. Poor man was disabled, had medical issues, father of six, um, didn't seem to bother anybody, and this someone did this to him, and it's, it's just not right. We need to find who did this, and I'm asking the public for assistance. Is this a people in that area or just across certain parts of the county should be 
at a little bit of a higher, like, elevated level of security or awareness? Well, in all fairness, you, you should probably always be. <laughs> um, we have increased police presence in this area, in, in that area, I should say, um, uh, marked and unmarked cars uh, to give people a sense of security. And I don't believe at this time that there's an active threat in that community. So you think the guy he was targeted? We don't know that for a fact. Then how do you know there's not an active threat? That's a good question. That's a good question. I, I, I don't know that for a fact. I'm going to put you in the spot. You're good. Yeah. You're good. Okay.